guys. So recently, I just upgraded my iPhone to the iPhone 8. Now you're wondering, why would I get an iPhone 8? Well, it's actually because my dad had the iPhone 8 and then he got the iPhone X because reasons I don't know of. And so I just, so I just end up getting with his iPhone 8. And upon a little bit more research, it turns out the iPhone 8 records a much better quality than my Canon Vixia um, HFR62 which is actually pretty unfortunate. Now, most of you are probably going to be saying, well, duh, of course it's going to record better quality. But to be honest, I mean, I was kind of expecting it and also not expecting it. But, well, meh. So for now on, most of my videos are going to be recorded on my new iPhone 8. And I'll just be using this as a backup camera, I guess. I mean, I mean yeah. So, I'm right here, I'm going to show you a bit of the... Um, the difference between the camcorder versus iPhone 8. Okay, test on camcorder. I'm actually kind of hoping my camcorder beats my iPhone because then that would mean I wasted nearly $150 on my camcorder. Also, just so you know, they're both at 1080p because um, I tried editing it in 4K, but it failed so badly, which was actually pretty dis disappointing, but also pretty expected since... I'm just using iMovie on a MacBook Air made from 2013, so it's pretty expected. So since I just upgraded my iPhone, I decided to take this time and take and take time to look back on my very first iPhone. It's out, ba it's out of battery. It's still trying to turn on. I would like to take time to look back at the iPhone 5. So before I do some testing, I think it's probably best if I tell you the backstory of how I got my iPhone 5, or as known as my very first iPhone. So here's the backstory. So back in fifth grade, I was actually saving up to get an iPod Touch. I saved up about $250 after about uh, six months, I guess. And actually a few weeks before I was gonna buy it, my dad actually just came up to me and asked, do you want an iPhone? And I said, sure, because to me, the iPhone was literally the exact same thing. It's just it can make calls. And then a few weeks later, I got my iPhone 5. Now, this was when the iPhone 6 came, first came out. So the iPhone 5s were going somewhat cheaper. Um, I only paid like, um, well, I paid 250 My dad paid like extra $50. So altogether, this was like 300 So to me, that was... Decent because the iPods were only like two hundred ish. Well, I I completely forgot. I know it was around two hundred. So and then yeah, I finally got an iPhone. Now you're probably gonna be saying, "Wow, some fifth grader got an iPhone. No big surprise." Well, to be honest, I was actually one of the lucky ones because most of the kids in my class had iPhone fours or four S's, and the real and the really lucky ones had maybe a five or five S. So, not no one had a six, of course, and actually, what, the more I think about it, a lot of kids still had iPhone three GSs, which was actually my very first phone, but I lost until like until I destroyed it. If you see, saw the video, um, it's on the channel, I guess. So yeah, I was considered to be the lucky one because I had an iPhone five. I actually remember I literally took the entire box to school because I didn't have the case. Yes, this was the actual case um so yeah i literally kept it in the box and every time school is over i opened the box and then i had the iphone i didn't even take the like screen thing off yet until i got the case so so i kept it in i guess it was like a free screen protector to me a lot of kids were actually thought it was kind of weird but some kids actually did understand it so there we go that's basically the entire story of how i got the iphone 8 and the original story of the iphone 5. So, now I guess it's just a matter of a few tests, I guess. So, let's get into it. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, iPhone 5, iPhone 8. And yes, the photo is Pikachu and Yoshi. Please leave hate comments down below. Okay, first thing... The screen's really tiny. 
iPhone 5 is still pretty responsive, so that's a plus. So, I really am not sure how I'm supposed to test it, because the iPhone 5 is still somewhat up to date, because it's still running iOS 10, and a lot of things are running iOS 10. So, I'm going to be conducting three tests. Um, a, a benchmark map app that I did download, video test, and YouTube playback. YouTube playback should be about the same, so, whatever. So, for our benchmark test. So, the iPhone 5 scored 18,622, which actually does seem like a big number, but then it gets absolutely crushed by the iPhone 8 with a score of 210,652. Wow. To be honest, you really can't be disappointed. I mean, like, it's surprised by this. Because, one, the iPhone 8 is using the same processor as the iPhone 10, and the iPhone 10 is probably one of the most powerful phones of today. So that does make sense. While the iPhone 5, I completely forgot what the specs are. But, so either way, the iPhone 8 wins. Alright, video test. And so far, I can already tell the iPhone 8's doing much better. Because one, I'm able to record in 60 FPS on the iPhone 8, as you can see me wiggling it. And the iPhone 5, I can only record in 1080p, 30 FPS. And I'm going to take a look, at, if you can see the alarm clock, iPhone 5, you can barely see the numbers. So, yeah. iPhone 5, I can't blame it too much from a phone that came out in 2012, I believe. Battery life is terrible now. Um, that's really about the only thing I can say. So, yeah. So far, if my life was dependent on this, I'm pretty sure I can live with this. There's the 2007 MacBook. Now for the YouTube test. Which one can you open it first? iPhone 8. And the iPhone 5 wasn't that far behind. Let's watch a really crappy video. It's so terrible! Okay, so we're sending them both to 1080p. Let's see if they can work. From the works, from the looks of it, they're both able to play 1080p YouTube. Also, I just want to like to show you guys how beat up this case is. Just yes, there's stickers, and of course it's made by OtterBox because my this one would be literally dead, destroyed, and every way the the iPhone 8's playing, and every this thing would be dead in pretty much every way without this case. So yeah. Now for the question I never asked at the beginning of the video: How usable is the iPhone 5? To be honest, I really don't know what you guys are expecting. The iPhone 5 is still very, very usable. I mean, sure, it's not as fast, it doesn't have as much RAM, it doesn't have a, that good of a camera. Yes, it has a headphone jack, worst thing in the world. But besides those, it's still a phone. Sure, you might not get as good qu audio quality, I guess you can say, but... I mean, well, I really can't test that because, I mean, this, this phone's no longer activated, but... Being a phone-wise, it's still probably a very much usable phone. So, if you guys really do need a phone, and you guys, and I guess you don't want to go down to, like, the really, really budget options, I guess you can hopefully spend less than $80 and get an iPhone 5. But, I mean, you not. So, to answer my question one more time, yes, the iPhone 5 is still a very, very much usable phone in 2018. Because it's still able to browse the web, it's still able to watch YouTube in full 1080p. Probably, you might have to bump it down to 720p sometimes, but who knows. Yes, it still has a headphone jack, so yeah. And it, yeah, it does have a wor camera that's probably worse, but other than that, it's... I don't know what's going on for this video. It's a usable phone, if you need an iPhone that's less than 100 iPhone 5 is probably good enough. I give up. I give up. I'm deleting this channel.